Hey, what's up? I'm John Shred, and uh, today we are comparing the Asus Tough 3080 to the Asus Tough 3090. I've had both cards now for a couple months to really try and figure them out and understand the differences. Okay, first let's let's compare the physical differences. These are both cards. Can you tell which one is which? Probably not. They are absolutely identical in size. Same eight to eight pin ports. Um, literally the exact same card, other than the fact that the 3090 has an NV Link port, so you can connect a couple of them together. You can tell they're absolutely identical because if you go online and look at water block solutions for the Tough 3080-3090, and most com most companies use the exact same product for both. It just happens to be that on the 3090, they have a couple extra VRAM chips on the back of the card. Now, at first, I was I was pretty disappointed. I had the 3080 first, and when I got the 3090, I was expecting something bigger, better, more, more powerful. And yeah, the, the card is more powerful, but just from like a, a pure get the card in my hands perspective, I was like, oh, I just paid $2,400 for the exact same card. And then even when it came to the, the two eight pin connectors, I mean, the last 3080 I had, which was the Asus Strix ROG had three connectors. When I dropped down to the tough 3080, it had two, and I was like, okay, maybe I get it, whatever. But I thoroughly figured that with the 3090 tough, there'd, there'd be three eight pin power connectors. I, I looked it up and the TDP for the 3080 is 320 watts and the 3090 is 350. And I went, well, what's the deal? I, I looked at the ROG Strix 3080 and 3090 and both have three eight pin connectors. So I mean, most likely because the one's supposed to be used more for overclocking and they want to get the extra juice in there. But I don't know, it seems it seems odd that a 3080 and a 3090, even though the power draw is technically different, have still two eight pin. Hey, if you haven't already signed up for the contest to purchase a 6800 XT, please do so in the link above here. Check out the video for details and how you can support the channel. Okay, let's talk gaming performance. Actually, before you do that, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, please. It, it helps big time. Okay, but as you probably already know, the 3090 isn't all that much better for gaming than the 3080. And that's not really what this video is about um, because you probably know that there's only a small, small, small increase in gaming performance, but I did the talk, Catzilla benchmarks. Here are the numbers. Okay, now let's talk mining performance. Okay, now I have done videos of my mining settings for the TUS Tough 3080. You can find that there. It's, no, you can't, I'm lying. I only did a video for my 3080 ROG Strix, but there is a black screen video uh, that I'll talk about in a second. Now, for performance, we're talking about 96 mega hash on the 3080 at 237 watts. Okay, an efficiency of 0 0.4, which is, which is pretty good. Now on the 3090, most people don't like 3090 for mining because of the additional cost it's just the ROI on it takes a lot longer to pay off. But that being said, I was able to get this card up to 116 mega hash at 290 something watt, uh, bringing it the exact same efficiency of 0.4. So efficiency to efficiency, the cards are the same. Yes, 3090 draws a bit more juice, but it does mine harder. Now during all my mining tests, I try and keep the VRAM below 100 degrees Celsius so that it's safe and, and my cards don't, don't get destroyed. But speaking of temps, it was very interesting to see the backplate temperatures of the 3080 versus the 3090. Now on a 3080, if you use a heat gun and you point it at the back, you're looking at 50 to 52 degrees Celsius, which is only a few degrees higher than what the actual GPU was running at. But when it comes to the 3090, 
whole different ballgame. Like I said, 3090 has VRAM chips on the back of the card and it doesn't really have any additional cooling or heat dissipation other than the stock back plate. If you point the heat gun at it, you're looking at temps of 65 to 70 degrees in certain hot spots. If I touch my finger on the card for any more than about a second, it burns my finger. I would highly recommend anyone mining with an Asus Tough 3090 to put some additional heat sinks and thermal pads on the back of the cards. I'll drop a link in the description below. A bunch of guys have done it. I hear it's dropped temperatures by at least 10 degrees. Okay, what's the overall feel of these cards? I can throw numbers at you all day but do they feel any different in gaming not really okay both same cards i can run everything at ultra all my games call of duty uh horizon zero dawn everything that i'm playing right now it does not matter the cards work extremely well now day to day i do like to mine when i'm not gaming so when I'm during normal office hours and I'm at home working, I do like to mine Ethereum in the background. With the 3080, I had a huge issue with black screen, check out the video here, where it just kept crashing out if I didn't lower the overclocking on the VRAM significantly while I was doing other work. And I mean, just like, I mean, your normal web browser's open, nothing crazy, but it was a pain in the butt. One morning, my system rebooted like five, six times. And I had no idea what was going on. I, I lowered the VRAM and, and, and fixed it. So a bit of an annoyance when having to switch back and forth when you're mining and you're not. Now, the 3090 bulletproof. I set uh, the settings, uh, overclocked it perfectly, setting 160 mega hash, and I just started using the computer as I normally would and no difference at all. So. It was far more convenient. Uh, why did it work better? Maybe the additional VRAM caused it not to crash. I did not get a single black screen issue. So yeah, day to day, it was super cool because I could just start mining and, and go and work and just not even have to worry. So for me, it felt like a better experience. So the big question that you're probably wondering, is the 3090 worth double the price of the 3080? I mean, no, it, I mean, I, I shouldn't say it. It really depends what you're doing. If you're, if you're gaming and mining, no, it, it absolutely does not make a difference. If you are doing some professional work, uh, some 3D rendering, anything like that, yes. I have a buddy, Scotty, he's doing some, some 3D rendering stuff. Uh, he has seen a significant difference when moving to a 3090. I'll post uh, his link to his Twitch stream. You can check out some of his stuff. So what's my plan? Well, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to trade my 3090 for a 3080 plus some cash to hopefully save that up to possibly get a 3080 Ti that was released last week so that I can review it here. So that's it. Those are the big differences. Uh, they're identical cards, like physically identical. Yes, the 3090 has more, more VRAM, not worth the extra cash. Get yourself a 3080. Uh, if you like this video, thank you, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.